Anyone wanted a specific name for him? For a bad boy? <laughs> Dratgasm. There you go. Spoopy. Spoopy. Okay. <clears throat> uh, is it possible to get chat? Or if not, well, it's... All right. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure. No problem. All right. So I'm ready. <coughs> Track on chat. <coughs> oh, baby. <coughs> Jesus. All right. Three, two, one, go. So yeah. This is Deus Ex 1. Um, I will explain a lot of glitches because this game is pretty broken and it has for almost everything a little glitch. So here's one of the first. So uh, this is called the glitchy save. What I do is like I start a conversation with Paul and I do save uh, when we're in for person mode. But keep that in mind because we're going to get back to that later because there's a lot of things happening. So the next one is, is here. We're taking a gas grenade. Because, well, normally you have to do a quest here, go around and get the terrorists, but, well, that is too slow, so we're going to break into the headquarters by throwing a gas grenade. And what will happen is this. So, what happens? There's a guard staying here around, and the AI is so programmed that whenever they're attacked or when they're, they're getting poisoned or, like, their state is changing, that they're going to get into an escape state, like they need to escape, but the only way to escape is going through the door out. So they open the door for us and we can enter the headquarters before we even did the mission. The problem with that is we can't enter through the main door because it is blocked. So basically we need him uh, to open the door for us. If he does not open the door for us, we are kind of stuck. So we do this a little ass jump into his face because that skips some dialogues. Go here get some medkits and now we get to the next glitch it's called duping so I had two medkits and now I have 15 so basically what I do is I bind use to my mouse my mouse wheel and whenever I'm dropping an item and I'm u pressing use fast enough the game just does not destroy the object instantly and instead lives it let it live for like more multiple frames so it allows us to pick it up multiple times and so from 2 we get 15 and I could do that the whole time, like I can throw some away and bam, get more again. What the hell? Alright. <clears throat> so basically this, the first start is the following, that you have to get like the terrorist leader and capture him. But it's too slow. We don't want to go around and capture someone. We just want to go to the end and that's basically what we do. So this was Liberty Island. Pretty quick. Got time for donations? Donations? Alright, so we have a one dollar donation from Matsi007. Hi. Don't, for, don't forget, iron and copper. <laughs> and there's a one dollar donation from Puri Puri saying, When's the sticks tutorial, Dreadgasm? <laughs> I'm the wrong person for this. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a five dollar donation from Odipo saying, Remember guys, a headshot is a lethal takedown. <laughs> Amazing. <coughs> Yeah, basically at the start of the game, uh, the professor dude is saying like, Oh yeah, and remember the, uh, that a headshot is a lethal takedown. Oh really? You're quite a genius in my opinion. Anyway, so this is like a bit of, well, slightly RNG. And in fact, there is no RNG here, which is really, really cool. But the only problem is a headshot, as said before, is a lethal takedown. So it kills us instantly. <coughs> and now... Our brother wants to talk with us, but we don't want to talk with him, so we throw a knife at him. Don't do this at home. It would work, but you don't want to do that. <coughs> and basically, this skips a talk with him. As I said before, there are a lot of small clips and glitches. We are using the whole game. <coughs> and those are the smaller ones, because we're never going to use that later on. Bam. No, my not put this away. There you go. Alright. So, remember the glitchy save? Now we're going to use it. So first we go back to the level and oh no, we load the glitchy save, go back and huh? Everything responds, so we can use everything once again. So basically we do that and to get all the augmentation canisters. And the mic is still on. So we're getting some more ammunition. And if there's donations you can read them out right now. 
not sure we have any. Let me check. Oh yeah, there's a one a ten dollar donation from Arenesis saying your appointment with FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already dis discussed the matter with the senator. <laughs> uh, all the memes. <clears throat> yeah, basically that is the the talk in the cutscene. We did not see because I skipped it. All right, so the flamethrower is going to be the best friend in this game. And rip franchises, burn. They're all burning right now. <clears throat> so basically, the the flamethrower. No, I don't want to look very good. The flamethrower allows us to kill everything with one shot, so we don't need to worry with, about that at all. We just put them in flames, and they're going to burn the whole time. It is pretty overpowered. All right, another little glitch. That's the grenade jump. And <clears throat> what this does is basically, in the moment we throw the grenade at the ground and jump at the, pre precise, the, the, the perfect frame, it bounces us up. Like the forces of the grenade are getting applied to Jensen, and then he just flies up. Fun thing, we just do it once in the run. The same with the AI manipulation at the start. Well, we did it, we do it twice. But Basically, this is how the whole game will be handled. We have everywhere small glitches which, which save time. Like here, this is the headlight. We just do it once and it saves time in a conversation we don't need to do. And we will do it basically only here. And while I have to wait, I'm just going to do everything. Everything I need. Agent? Agent. Service. Alright, so here I'm going to uh, trigger a conversation, and while I have to wait for the conversation to end, I'm going to go down here and upgrade myself with the best augmentation in the whole game, which is the running augmentation. So I install it, go here. Uh, excuse me? Service? Got something to put in? Anything to put in? Mm -hmm. There you go. Whatever. Alright. And now we're going super fast, which is the most amazing thing ever. All right, so this is Anna. We give her flowers because we are in the gentleman. Well, it did not work correctly, but it still worked. So basically, the AI is pretty dumb, and you can just throw things at her or like block them by building like a tower around them, and then they're stuck because the AI tries to get out but can't get out. And that's basically what we do. We just throw the flower in front of her, and she's getting stuck. <clears throat> and yeah, basically the only like the only augmentation we need for the whole run is the running augmentation because we're going super fast and it allows us to do one of the most amazing glitches of the game, which I will explain later. Better report. So now we get to the telephone booth, and while we have to wait, just some duping, duping all the stuff. Because we need all of it. Rip rat. Bat rat. This thing that. Alright. Now we go to the women's bathroom. And we blow up the wall because, remember, in bathrooms, in women's bathrooms especially, there's every time a hidden entrance. Never forget. So this basically get us to, like, the hidden fortress. Or like hidden basement. All right. So this is another glitch. This is called the grenade clip. What it does is we throw a grenade at the ground, and we stand on the grenade. And what it does is it just, it turns us around, and because of that twisting around or turning around, it allows us to clip ourselves through the door, which should be not possible. So basically. How it works is, when you think of a um, 2D platformer and you're standing on the platform, you're like uh, moving with a platform, and that is like basically the same, only that this time the object is rotating and you're rotating with the object with. So I'm standing on the corner of it and it allows me to just go around. Burr, baby, burr. All right. A little hidden, hidden path. We need a lamp and some lamps here. Oh, very, very nice of them. Destroying their own window. That's going to be expensive, guys. All right. And basically, now we just go through here. If there are any donations, go for it.
All right, my most favorite glitch. It's called the super jump. So basically, whoop, what I do is I go into the menu, I go into the settings while my augmentation is on, and the game is getting confused, and for some reason, <coughs> it adds up the augmentation. Oh, and yeah, this is a part where a lot of glitches will happen in a, in a row, so I will explain one by one, so don't worry. And yeah, basically because <coughs> we can jump high as, as hell, we can just go over triggers, over zones, and just skip it and just go <coughs> and end things. Alright, the other glitch I did at the little bridge is like a little loading trigger trick. So I'm out of bounds and I'm not supposed to be out of bounds. I have to be in this tube and there's no other way in. But the trigger for that is pretty, pretty big. And that allows us to just uh, jump from the outside in a diff specific corner and trigger it so we spawn inside and are in the airfield. So we don't need to go around and do any kind of stuff. The other glitch you have seen before, like when I was in the airplane, when I was shooting with a rocket and I left, uh, <clears throat> is basically my gun is not getting instantly destroyed. So I have around two seconds before I lose my weapon. But if I go out of the zone and re-enter it, it allows me to keep the weapon. And the game thinks like, oh well, I did not destroy the, uh, the weapon because the script is like getting stopped in that moment. And so if you're fast enough, you keep your ammunition. Or in this case, a weapon. Spoopy! Right. So I'm talking for a boss. Hi boss, bye boss. Remember that buttons are pretty small in this game for whatever reason. Blah blah blah. Alright. Invisible war? No invisible war no? this year. I'm sorry guys, no swear jar video for you. Maybe next year. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Find out in the next episode. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright. So we drop from the building. And normally we have to talk with our brother. So he opens the gate for us and we can do the... Do the... Uh, the mission, but we don't need to talk with our brother because we know already what to do. And even though the gate is closed, we can just jump through that little hole there with a super jump. And that's what we do. All right, there it goes. Now comes my nemesis of a run. It's called Napoleon. And the reason is pretty simple. I'm bad at typing. So first, McCollins, Revolution, Revolution. Open all the things. Then I go here, and now Napoleon Revolution. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh. Like, I can't type. Uh, basically, I lost a lot of runs because I mistyped Napoleon and Revolu. Yeah, mostly Napoleon for like 20 to 30 seconds, and that is just a time loss I'm not going to take. And it's kind of stupid. Anyways, so now that we did the mission, we're just going to go back to our brother, which we did not met at all, but we know he's waiting for us. Do some super jump and get the law. I am the law. <coughs> Alright. So, very like some clips. There you go. Alright, there are some glitches now coming one by one. So, I'm going to explain it after I get this. Nice first try. That is pretty good. Alright. Because this is one of the runs where a lot of glitches are going to happen, like a part of where we do glitches pretty much in a row. So first, we see our brother and we did not trigger the first quest with him at all. So but what we do then is, since we finished the mission, there's a second trigger going over his trigger, which is bigger. Wow, the rhymes. That was pretty unintended. Uh, but that allows us to do to um, finish the mission and trigger the next part. And that's basically what we do here. Because we don't want to talk with our brother. Okay, so more duping, there you go. Like, um, how to explain it? We did not take the first mission. And if we go to him, he would give us the first mission again. And then we would soft lock. We don't want that, so we try to sneak further and get the second mission, which is which has a bigger trigger zone to get to the next part. So. Now, prison. 
When we are in prison, you lose normally all your weapons. But what we do, once again, is we use the glitchy save, and it allows us to skip all the scripts which are run in that level. So nothing is going to happen, we keep our whole inventory, and we can just continue. Then we do another grenade clip out of there, and if you have seen it, well, I'm not sure. Uh, I had, like, negative health. Or more like, it showed that my torso was black. Normally, it should be like this. It shows, like, uh, that it's green and that I have health. But in this case, I did not have any health. And what I do there is that whenever you're healing yourself, like, uh, if you have, let's say, minus 100 health. Oh, Hong Kong! There you go. <clears throat> if you have minus 100 health, and you heal yourself with 50 health, you're still dead. I'm bad at typing. Thanks. Alright. So, what it does... The game is not checking if you're having lower than zero health. So the AI is not triggered at all. The AI will think, oh, well, he's dead. We have nothing to do. Because they're checking the player stats only if you're, if you're alive. Because, well, it would be, like, kind of... Uh, Stupid to check with negative health, but in this case we abuse that pretty hard so that the AI is ignoring us and we can just pass on. And yeah, this is basically Hong Kong. It's a kind of a running simulator for now because we just need to go to the hidden basement, which is here. But since we know all the codes, we don't need to hack us, nobody's going to be in our way, and hey, let's go. <coughs> Ass. There you go. Is there time to read donations? Sure. All right. There's a one don one dollar donation from Ultimate Omega Seven saying, "Give Deus Ex the fall." <laughs> um, there's another one dollar donation saying, "Using duping techniques and that just voided your run, Sweet Pea." I bet he does this in all his speed runs. <laughs> wow, copy pasta. And there's a ten dollar donation from Bionic Man saying, "I didn't ask for this fall." <laughs> wow, alright. <clears throat> okay, there's another glitch. What I'm doing here, uh, it's like more like a backup strat because it should work the normal way. So, what I do is I pick up an item in my inventory and then I use it. Like, I drag it up and the, and the game thinks, like, okay, I have space there so I can put like additional items in. So, I have like the sword and the, la the gap gun now stacked with each other. Mm. Another thing is uh, we we put the code in and we need the Dragon Tooth, which because it's one of the amazing and broken games we're going to abuse here as well. Haha, <laughs> so it's not going to work, but I see it. <laughs> and basically, now that we have the Dragon Tooth, we can end the mission here in Hong Kong. So we're going to head around again. But first we need to do some talk with people, run around and back and go into a hidden basement, etc, etc. Alright, so we do some super jumping, that guy wants to talk with us, but I don't want to talk with him! So bye bye. We land here. Oh no, there's a code! Ah, never mind. I have a sword. And, as I said before, pretty broken. Just br put them on fire and we're going to die. And not a big deal at all. The only problem is that commandos, those were the guys, uh, Whoops, whoops, all right, there we go. Those were the guys which, with the, uh, well, which looked like robots. Uh, they can't be killed by fire, so we need to kill them with, with a dragon tooth. Whoop, nice! Well, this is another run killer, which is kind of stupid, because I'm bad at jumping, I guess. All right, and this is like a little funny part. So, normally, you have to do a big quest run. Uh, thingy so that you can visit this guy here which is the leader so we can escape from this area and he's normally hidden there but he's not in the building so that the player can sneak in and finish it so what the what the developers did was they thought like okay we don't want the player to talk with the boss before he has the dragon tooth he should do another quest but <laughs> we're just going to put him on that building up there and since nobody will know that he's up there, uh, we can't talk with him. Well, what they did not know is that there is a super jump and you can just jump up there, talk with him and then end the level. Alright. <coughs> Here I have to be a bit careful because that can end in a soft lock where we will ever, forever stare at each other. 
I'm losing my voice. Wow. Uh, but yeah, it would become a staring contest and we don't need a staring contest. So, we're going to talk with him and then escape via helipad out of Hong Kong. <coughs> Hong Kong? Hong Kong? Okay. So, now we're going to a part which is called the ship. But first, we need to go to a bar and talk with people which are drunk. Well talked. Bye. And yeah, if you have donations, you can read them out. You don't have any. Oh, uh, what a shame. Alright, so I do some jumping here, do some talking, go into the trigger zone, and now we're going to escape from here. Alright, another little glitch. I'm just going to... St I know where the helipad spawned. And if you spawn, if you're staying in the helipad position, the game does not know how to react and thinks like, uh, 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 okay, just start the cutscene. And so we're in the cutscene immediately. Alright. Oh no. Stupid wall. Well, it's not a big deal. So now we're going to enter the ship. And there's going to be a very, very interesting glitch we're going to abuse. Oh yeah. And may I introduce you guys? This is my biggest fan. Alright. We go here. And I will just jump. Open the door. Ah! Damn it, I got scared. I killed myself. But basically, we do this on purpose, so... We have the Dead Man Walking activated. And if you have seen it, I had minus 170 health. And now we're just going to add. Whoop. Wrong things. Just going to add out of here. Heal myself. And now we're going to just run past all the guards, which will not see us at all and they will not care. And now our mission is to destroy four vans in this game, or like in the ship. And so that's what we're going to do. I have to burn that guy away and those as well, just because they're annoying. And now we're just going to destroy everything here. Nothing special. Not a lot of glitches. Because, well, we're invisible for the guards. So we will just go around and burn around and don't know what's happening. So, if there are now donations, there would be a time. If not, what a shame. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame, alright. Alright, best code. Rude. Reindeer Flotilla. Bam. I'm not sure what it means or if it's an insider, but it's a pretty long code. Alright, now we go back to the start. There's another van here. And if I'm if I'm good, yeah, I'm good. We should have sound here, how the whole system is going to break down. We're such assholes. Destroying just the whole ship and just running away again. Do some duping just to be safe. Whoop. Little spider robots. Whoop. Jump up because jumping is faster than climbing. And the next coming up level is going to be the shortest in the whole of Deus Ex 1. And this is pretty hilarious because you will see and understand in a second why it is going to be pretty funny in my opinion. Okay, so. I sh I should be fast enough. Okay, so this is a maze, and normally you're supposed to go through the maze, uh, escape some robots, try not to die, etc, etc. Uh, but w since the, the end and the start are the same place, we're going to see for once two helipads, and we can just jump <clears throat> over the fence with a super jump. So we're at the end already, get our quest, the helipad spawns, and you just see both helipads flying away, and we just end the level instantly. Pretty nice, well coded, but yeah. We have a donation with a really long comment, if I can read that now. Sure. All right, there's a $5 donation um, from Michael Taco saying, Anna, are you sure that you pressed the right button? Gunther, I do not make mistakes of that kind. Anna, your hand might have slipped. Gunther, no, I wanted orange. It gave me lemon lime. 
Anna, the machine would not make a mistake. Gunther, it's the, it's the maintenance man. He knows I like orange. Anna, so you, you think the staff has some kind of plots? Gunther, yes, they do it on purpose. Oh boy. Yeah, that's one of the conversation you have in the headquarters at the start of the game. Kinda hilarious. Okay, so here I'm going to do another AI manipulation. So basically I'm hitting him in the knee with my Dragon Dew. And what it does is the AI is going into a panic state, so he's going to program to run away. And the only way to escape from me uh, is to go through a door which is normally locked. And he opens the door for me, so I can just go away and escape instantly. Whoa, that's not what I want to do. There you go. And that allows us to just go through and end this. And if you've seen, there's like that commando guy and I used the draining tube because I can't kill him the other way around. Alright, now we're going to a city or like into a club called the Porte Lopez, whatever that means in French and I'm pretty bad in it. And since we don't want to use doors, we just destroy them. Ooh. And put our gap gun out to destroy another door. Because why not? La porte de la fer. Whoop! Some super jumping. Oh no! There you go. There's. There's a young woman. We need to talk with her. So we can exit this area. Now we talk with her. Uh, excuse me. Thanks. And bam. That was the other area. So basically because of a grenade clip and the AI manipulation, we can just open two doors in the basement and just go instantly to the next area. We don't need to worry about anything else. Alright. So we put her in flames because she wants to talk with us. But we don't like to talk with people. We're like pretty anti-social. We throw we throw knives at our brother. We 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 put par people in flames, and basically whenever we have the time, we just jump away from them. All right. Here's another glitch. I have an object in my hand, and normally this not, does not allow us to have any items with us. Wow, I missed the way. Holy. And <clears throat> because I do that, I can just. Nice first try. Uh, I can just have go into the uh, inventory and just re-equip it. It's not a big deal. Like the game is like, sure, just do it. And wow, Jensen, please. I mean, Denton, this is not your revolution. All right. So now I'm going to do some precise jumping here, which I failed. And now we're out of bounds. Well, kind of out of bounds. Like, the city is not designed that you're supposed to be outside here. But we can just go outside and we're just going to abuse that. And now, some precise aiming and... Yes, we got it. So, we shoot that door because we don't want it to open. And now, my German fellow, Gunther. Bye-bye. Rip Gunther. He was a great man. Always loyal. But now he's dead. Well, basically we kill him because otherwise he would kill us. And first he wants to talk with us, <clears throat> but we don't want to talk with him, so we shoot a rocket at him. Makes sense, right? And now we're going to escape from here. So we're going to go out of this area because there are like a lot of commandos and robots there. And we don't want to face them, we're just like stealthy, sneaky little bastards. Alright. And if there are donations, you can read them out. Yeah, there's a one dollar donation from Judge Dredd saying, No donations? 20 years in the cubes, Dreadgasm. Oh, baby. All the Dreadgasm. <laughs> and there's a three dollar donation from Mr. Neil saying, I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats and make us look bigger than we really are. <laughs> all the Deus Ex quotes, all the Deus Ex quotes. Alright, basically we have to do go around, find like, uh, do like a mission, talk with people, but uh, it's taking too long, we don't want that. And so we just clip ourselves through to the helipad and say bye bye. Memory, say bye bye. Goodbye then. Alright. 
So we put Vos in flames. Shoot a rocket up there because there's some TNT. And you're normally not supposed to get into the... Oh wow, first try. Wow, the grenade clips are pretty amazing today. So you're not supposed to be able to clip through walls? Yeah, sure, but you... this is pretty well. Like, first try or second try. Mm. Turn it off. Nope. There you go. Just typing a bit. Okay, Savage, Tiffany. Bam, first try as well. Alright, so we do some info link skipping by talking with him. Now he's going to come to us and talk, but while we have to wait for him, we're just going to do a lot of duping. Get all the stuff we need and blah blah blah. Start now to talk with him. He wants us now to rescue his little girl. And we say, sure, why not? Alright. And yeah, the thing here with a door, normally you have to find the code and then you're able to enter to the, la the labor laboratory. There you go. But well, we just, you know, clip ourselves through because we can do that. Oh yeah, this wall is not solid. Oop. There's like our other friend waiting. Rever putting a helipad for us and now we have to wait. Can you go faster? I would like to go faster, but helipad is auto scroller sadly. I can't skip both cutscene. Yes. 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 <clears throat> yes. Yes. <laughs> Alright. So this is kinda uh funny. We have to do a stealth mission here and rescue Anna. Oh shit. Uh oops. Uh well um yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> basically what happens, we have to rescue her and it's a stealth mission and you have to sneak through the whole building and get her out of the prison. Because if the guys are getting alarmed, the whole space is getting alarmed and kill her instantly. And then the helipad spawns and says like, yeah, your your mission failed, but you can continue. So this is like one of the major decisions where you can say like, ah, oh, I don't care, I don't want to rescue her and you just continue. Or you just try it and continue while she's survive, uh, alive. But well, we don't care, it's faster in the speedrun and so we basically jump up, put an alarm on purpose and just continue. So here we are just going to jump to the subway, uh, subway what? Yeah, subway station. Burn that guy. And now, elevator skip. We trigger the elevator and then we just drop before the elevator. <laughs> it's pretty neat because you can just jump on this little side there. Burning people around. And now we're getting to put some codes in, which is Teich. Teich. Shark man. And we open the door. Boop boop. Let's go. Memrick? Yes. Let's hurry on. Yes. Okay, ocean guard. I can Kraken. type. Kraken. 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 There we go. Jesus. We open the doors because we need that one later. But for now we're just going to get up. Where for a gap gun. Oh no, a turret. Well, why turret? Oh no, a turret. My turret. So, we're just doing, going to do some setup, get the keyring, and basically escape now from here. Well, not entirely, but we need to go up here. And the best things, Greasels. I love those things. 5690. Now let's hurry on. Yes. Yes. So, this room is kind of interesting. Like, you, s you saw that there like those uh, electricity is going on, but if you're just standing on the door frame, the electricity is not going to hit you at all. <clears throat> so we just abuse that. Open some more doors. While running around, we're just going to do some tubing. And put our dragon tooth out, because we're... We love dragon tooth. Alright. Judge Dredd has sent his last donation. Oh boy. Donation hype? So you want to make a donation? 
There are donations to read though. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What a shame. <laughs> I mean, there are donations. But I if you don't mind me reading them. What? Can I read donations? Uh, yeah, sure. Alright, uh, there's a $2 donation from Edvard All saying NS NSF001 smash the state. There's a $3 donation from Kurai Heka saying, Remember, the GEP gun is the most silent of all takedowns. And there's another there's a another one dollar donation from Judge Red saying, This is an automated message from Twitch TV. We have been experiencing technical difficulties related to Dreadgasm phase. Please <laughs> confirm that your Dreadgasm phase is working properly. Dreadgasm. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. <clears throat> so basically we just put another code in there. There is nothing special. And now we're going to do a little different trick. There you go, first try. Pretty nice. <clears throat> so we just go out of bounds into the water where we're not supposed to be at all because this level got no outer scene like you're not supposed to be at this area at all uh, but because we're clipping out we it doesn't matter for us and that's why we open the door we, we open the door so we can ex um, ex escape later on and you need to do that but you're supposed to go through the whole way back but we're just clipping through swim through the door and then just escape because it's faster And now we swim. Oh yeah, gap gun. This is the gap gun, by the way. The most silent approach because it shoots rockets, kills everything in an instant. And if you want to talk, or if Günther wants to talk with you, you just shoot at him. It makes no sound. It's pretty fast. Hop. Blah blah blah. Yes, yes. And now we fly again. After swimming, some flying. And now some running. There are some Frankies again. Rip Frankies. I feel like an asshole doing that every time. No! Doggy! Alright. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a specif specific shot. This might take a while. Depends. And I will explain in a second what happened here. Or what is happening here. There you go, nice. Alright. So basically what happened is, when this trapdoor is the ending where we have to go up and the helipad spawns and we escape the area. So what you can do is with the law, it spawns the, the projectile a bit ahead of it. So which means we can shoot through objects or through walls uh, to the other side. And that's basically what we're abusing. We're shooting at a specific um, side and in that moment, <clears throat> yeah, if we get the, the hit, well, we're just killing the guy we need to kill and we don't need to run through the whole time. But now I'm not satisfied with this run, so I'm killing myself. This run sucks! No, never mind. Um, we're abusing this glitch just to, to get no fall damage. We just save in the moment we should die. And we load it and all, all of a sudden, all the force which is going to, to get on us is gone. It's just like, well, we don't care anymore. So you just do what you want. Alright, here we're going to kill ourselves to use the deaf man walking glitch and we're drinking a soda because why not? We haven't drunk anything in the while. And that allows us to Yeah, just go through them. Or like next to them. Alright. Here normally Oh no. That's not cool. Ouch. But yeah, basically we do a door clip here with double lamps. A loss. Which allows us to just go through here and not care about anything or anyone around. Oh. And yeah, since since I failed it, I needed to take like... Oh, there you go. I needed to take like another medkit to abuse the death walking. But I don't have enough health or like enough negative health, so I'm just going to 
heal myself and see how he's burning. Burn, baby, burn. Alright. Okay, make yourself ready for time. They're almost done. Blah, blah, blah. So now... Two or one. Okay. We shoot at that guy here because there's an engineer. He's getting scared. Go up. Okay. And... Time! Sub 40! Nice! Oh. That, is, that is actually a really, really good run. Nice. It's way below the estimates. <laughs> yeah. The nade clips. Yeah, the, that was pretty amazing. Like, I got all the grenade, like, most of the grenade clips first try. And that was amazing. Like, most, mostly I screwed up with um, the super jump. But basically my PB is a 39.06. And my, with outloads is 37.06. So this is pretty nice. And this is like another, like my fourth or fifth run of sub 40. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. I can't complain. So yeah, thank you very much guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Spoopy. Look at this face. Spoopy! I am disordered! <laughs> Help! Alright. Uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. This was the SX1. I never asked for this. Um, Still you got it. So yeah, I got it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching and next coming up is... I don't know. I'm not the host here at the moment. <laughs> but I like to do the host work. <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Um, I can take over. I guess if he wants right. to. Um, 